Alrighty, welcome to my new series called Forge of Empires. This is an online multiplayer game. Um, however, it is in beta, and I am in full screen. Um, this is a new series. Uh, we, this is our city right now. That's our town hall. Um, so, what basically what you do is you run an empire. There are other people online that are around you that you can battle and all of that for land. And this is the map right now. So this series we will be battling out for the most land, the most gold, the most people. We will be the Roman Empire of the modern day. So you can see they have these Christmas objectives and normal objectives. Um, we can go to the continent map, uh, army management, research new technologies, global building, our inventory, our trade with other people, our message center, and in the open forum. We got our neighbors here. Uh, we can invite a neighbor, so if you guys want to play, let me know. I'll invite you to be my neighbor. Uh, this thing right here, it shows what age we're in, and these right here are forage points. And we need forage points to research different objectives. So if I click research, it'll take us to the research screen. All right? We haven't reached the Bronze Age yet, but when we do, we can research silt houses or pottery. You can see that three right there, that means it requires three. We have ten. So we might be doing that this episode, but this I think will just mainly be an intro episode. And this is just like any other like city, city slash empire management game, except it's online. You have to manage it. You have to build houses that like a hut. You have to build uh, potter potteries and all that stuff. So let's start out by editing our city name. City name. I think we'll call it McGeekville. Bill. You guys have better names? Leave it in the comment. Uh, I think our dude would look really good as some sort of rich, fancy king. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Ooh, Julius Caesar. Just with blue. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we can uh, set what we offer or what we need. Unfortunately, we're just starting out. Profile text, um, we'll make it nice and simple. YouTube, period. Okay. Okay, that's our town hall, all set up. McGeekville. Um, alright, let's get started. Let's see, what is us? The snowman. Make people enthusiastic, accept. And we already did that, cool. So we got one small forage point package. Collect the reward. Ho ho ho! Build an ornamental tree, cypress, or ornamental tree, cypress, or just a tree. All right, we can get a hundred coins in return. Build a hut. Oh, and you'll see things that pop up. We can collect money from huts and so on. So let's go to build. Things that we can build right now with the, our current technology is a hut. Uh, can't build a hunter yet. We can build a tree. Let's build a tree. Uh, I think a tree would go good right there. Why? I don't know. I just think it looks good there. Uh, army management, roads, and different expansions. So, oh, we completed something. Yep, we built the tree. And we got 100 coins. And it cost us less than that, I'm sure. Buy forge point. I will accept that, but they cost actual money in real life if you want to buy a forge point, so. Um, the tree cost only 30 production. So, alright. I think we are going to skip ahead a little, and I think we will go ahead and research something. I think we will go ahead and research silt houses. And I would like to use all three, because I have three of them. Boom. We can now build flowers and silt houses. So that's good. And we're in the Bronze Age. So we got a new town hall. Let's check it out. There it is. There. Keep it zoomed in a little. There's our new town hall. It actually has a roof. And the guy still wants us to build a hut. So we will still build a hut and later delete it. So, hut build right there alrighty 
Uh, close that. Oh, they're almost done. And they're done. Minus 14 happiness, plus 14 population. We have 28 people in our city. Alright, 50 coins. Finish. Collect. And you can see at the top right below Bronze Age or the 7. We get another one in an hour. And we have a thousand gold, 760 production, zero bronze, and 30 diamonds. Alright, what does he want us to do now? Build a hunter. We can do that, I do believe, now. Yes, we can build a hunter. What exactly this does, I'm unsure yet. That is an excellent question. I do believe it... I believe it just uh, allows us to increase uh, our production. Yeah, see, production 7, that's what it creates, it creates 7, 14, 34, I think it's only uh, 6 minutes, so I think we'll go ahead and produce the trophy, we'll do that, alright, and boom, 100 supplies, nice, claim my reward, basically for the beginning of the game, you're just doing what he tells you to, alright, two silt houses, so this is where we get to to delete our old houses, but unfortunately if we delete them now we'll run out of population, so we need to build our silt houses first. So we'll build one there, build one there. Lots of population equals lots of good production opportunities. I'll go ahead and sell that. Never mind. Alright, cool. Maybe now it'll let us because we have a silt house. Yes, sell. We gain 20 production and 14 happiness. Minus 14 population though. Oh, and we need a trail back there. Because these guys need to be connected to the roadway. Unfortunately, I can only build two at a time right now, so. Alright, now that they're connected, these should be being built. And they should be done here any second. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There we go. Sell this. I would love to sell that. 52 down back to 38, which is 10 more than we had before. But now we have newer houses, so all is good, all is well. Finish. And we already researched silt houses before, which was the first part, so we're good. All right. Gain 10 happiness. We get two spear fighters. 10 happiness. How do we do that? I got an idea. First, I'm going to rearrange the layout real quick of what our town looks like because I do not like this set up here the road way over there just doesn't make sense to me it should be straight like that boom and that may be right there and bring these crossroads there now you can tell in the future this will be a major crossroad Alrighty, there we go. Trails cost nothing whatsoever besides a one by one unit of land. So we'll just go ahead and extend that to there. You can see our boundaries right there. The dark areas is what we need to expand into. So, yeah. Close that. And gain 10 happiness. So, decorations, flowers. What is that? give us 20 happiness 70 72 happiness for memorial and that's only 40 coins and 40 production we have 791 coins and 450 production besides a memorial right there on the corner of that major crossroad at least for our city will be good there we go 72 happiness boom 10 happiness child's play so now we have two spear fighters and ten coins. Spear fighters are army men. They will fight with us, for us, not against us. All right, conquer one sector and scout the first province. This is where we start getting into expansion. Not our actual like capital expansion, but all right. You can see here on the map as it starts to load. You can see like expansions in the mountains and way over there you you got people that own and defend that so if we click here we can go ahead and view what's in this area the horse will start trotting over there 
There we go. Four, three, two, one. Boom, it's there. And you can see it's red, so other people own it. It has quite a bit of marble rock, or just marble. So that's always good. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, so then, let's see, we got sector information. The sector will give you 50 gold. This will give us 60 production. This will give us 65. The 65 isn't connected to our land, and there's three units defending it. We have two spear fighters. Uh, three units defending it. Uh, that might be really hard. Two! So, I think we should go ahead and attack that infiltrate. Not quite sure what that means yet, and that's quite a bit of money to figure out what that means. I think that just means we get the first move, and I really don't think it's worth that. So let's just send everyone, or do we have to click? All right, we gotta click on them first. Send them over, and let's attack. Oh, before we do, you can see their attack strength is like three, defense is four, movement 14. We got an attack of seven, defense seven, and movement of 14, so. Defense bonus, three, two, and three. Defense bonus, I don't think we're defending though. Oh, I suppose if they attack us, that's, all right, that's what that is, all right, cool. And this is beta, by the way, so don't be expecting, you know, too great of results from the very beginning, although I gotta say, it is pretty darn amazing. This is the battlefield, you can hear the music just got more intense. That's because the game just got more intense. You can see his units right here in their health, our units right here in our health, and this is the battlefield. So, I can... Click to attack, heck yes I'll attack it. Let's see if I can get there though. Because I'm afraid if I go all the way up here, he's going to attack me then with that guy. And I can even place this on fast forward so they do it quicker. Alright, yes I can, so let's attack him. Boom! 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 So he wasted his move on attacking me. And now we got two guys over here and just one of his, so... Boom! Boom! Let's go ahead and move him next to him, and then let's attack. Boom! He's dead. Very little damage to us. Victory! 120% happiness, and we got 86 trophies. I don't know. I I don't know if that's bronze or trophies, but then they got this little defense unit here. Opponent's army is completely dead. We just suffered a little bit of our health. Overall, we're good because that their health will eventually regenerate. All right, there we go. We conquered a uh, area. Let's take a look at our tribal chief. Scout the first province and conquer one sector. We did that. Thank you. Alrighty, research pottery and build a pottery. That sounds like something that would be very beneficial to our city. So let's go ahead and research. And pottery, because that's the only thing we can do. So we have seven available forge points. We'll use three. Okay. And you can see now we can either research the wheel, which gives us one free expansion, uh, spears, which allows us to build spear fighters, or construction, which allows us to build a stone circle, which is 182 happiness. So just depending upon our situation really dictates what we do. And the server's kind of having problems right now because it's beta, but I really haven't found them. So now that we have researched pottery, let's go ahead and build a pottery. Just kidding. Maybe. Cool. Um, build. 41 population. We're at 38, so we need more houses. That was just what I was thinking, too. Jinx. I wasn't. But I probably should have, because population is always extremely important. Now I can't build this, because we don't have 150 production. How much do we need for this? 30. So that'll be good as soon as this is built. And we need another true. Oh, darn it. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this guy to here, this guy to here, here, this guy here. Just a little remodeling. In the beginning, it's much easier than at the beginning, middle, or end. I'm sure you can imagine why. Uh, 
there, and there. All right, cool. Now we have 82 population, so let's go ahead and build pottery. Hmm. Right here on the very end. Looks like a good place. Sleeping, you want to build another trophy. Trofeo, as the Spanish pronounce it. All right, finish, 100 supplies. Boom, that just boosted the supplies that we were just almost in need of. So that's good. Have 30 population available. We got 41. Next, 100 coins. See that, we're doing good. Research spears, 200 supplies. All right, but for pottery, we'll also do a flag on, because it only takes five minutes. At the end of this episode, I think as soon as those two five minute things are done, then we will go ahead and research something that'll take quite a while. And then next episode, we will come and check on it. So let's go ahead and research the spears because we are military and we like our pointy objects. All right, so we, you can see we just used the rest of our forge points. All right, cool, I know it's full screen. All right, so we can now build spear fighter barracks. Yes, server issues, we know. All right, so let's build, build. Then this would be under military, spear fighter barracks. We should put this back here in the corner. There we go. Now let's go ahead and build a trail over there. Build. 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 There we go. Ooh, look at what I can do there. Uh-huh. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Alrighty. Now we just wait for this to build. There we go. Don't even need to check on how long because it's done. Let's go ahead and train. Cost to train 25 25, so about 50 each or 50 total. But let's face it, we could use them. Yes, continue training. Darn it, you can only do one at a time. So that'll take a few seconds. In the meantime, boom, done. 200 supplies collect. Now we have 253. Recruit a spear fighter. Already in the midst. Three, two, one. Done. All right, we got another spear fighter and we completed that objective. Doesn't look like it wants to tell it. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and train another. Because I have feelings that in this episode with other actual. Or not this episode, but this Let's Play series, other people will want to come and attack us. So. It never hurts to have more than what you need as far as spearmen go. Alright, cool. Let's try and build. No. Alright, let me. There we go. Alright, collect reward. That's what I was waiting for. Conquer another sector. All right, how much longer till he's done? We'll wait until the spear fighter's done. And then we'll go ahead and unlock and train another one while we're in battle. So in case we get back and there's one that's, you know, injured. So let's go ahead and build another. If it wants to let us, I suppose I have to wait. All right, so 50 and 50 to unlock the slot. We definitely have enough. And then 25, 25 to train. All right, so we now should have four units, military units. So let's go ahead and take over the middle one, because it's touching. Or should we take over that one? Let's take over the smaller one, even though it's not connected. And then you can trade with the owner. So two, whatever that is, two red dies. Let's go ahead and attack it. Attack. All right, so we're in the midst of attacking it. You can see there are guys moving in. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and move in here and attack them. All right, so I do quite a bit of damage. They do next to none. All right, boom, dead. So let's go ahead and move this guy here. Wait for them to make the move. All right, they're... 
really getting up on him. Yep, we got a dead one. That's all right. Oh, darn it. I just realized I only sent in one unit. Uh-oh. Yep, we died. We lost. I only sent in two out of the four units. That's all right. Sorry if you can hear my dog there, by the way. How many units do we have now? So if I click attack, yeah, two units, no, cancel. Let's go back. Nope, sorry. All right, you're done, cool. I think we will go ahead and end the episode as soon as we can attack. Time to heal, 30 seconds. They're all healed. So we should have three guys then. Although, while we're here, let's go ahead and unlock this lot and train another one. We will wait for him to be trained. We will go ahead and fight the battle, and we will end the episode there. So, 11, 10, 9. Oh, let's go ahead and collect our uh, production there. And let's build a. Uh, let's build an Amorpha. And then over here, let's cancel that hunter thing because that's way too short, and let's go ahead and build arrowheads, because that'll take a little while, and we're about to end the episode, so, boom, another spear fighter, so let's go ahead and march back in there, with the actual right amount of soldiers, alright, so let's go ahead, and attack their three, with our four, I wish there was an easier way like just to do all. All right, boom, four against three. Let's go. Second time's a charm, and I can almost guarantee it that guaranteeing was actually possible. With most things, guaranteeing is possible, just, you know, not really with most things. All right, this guy, I think you would be good right there. And if a guy comes to attack, they'll boom, and then we'll just run around them. Just go ahead and get into somewhat of a position, stay there. You will move forward, stay there. Making, making only enough movement to attack them as they head in here. Alright, boom! Eat that, son. Go ahead and you in right there. Attack, dead. You, attack, attack. This guy here, attack. There we go. Attack. Die. This guy, he has full health, so let's go ahead and move him here. We'll, he'll attack him directly from the beginning. Holy cow, he lost quite a bit of health. This guy is strong. We lost the man. We're alright. Oh, jeez. Not lose this. For McGeekville! Alright, we won! That was a tough battle. We lost the guy and we got quite a bit of harm done to our soldiers, but we're alright. Alright, there we go. We own those two and almost the middle one. So let's go ahead and go back to our city. Let's go ahead and collect these guys you can train another one because we lost one and we will accept our resources collect all right recruit a spear fighter did we not do that I thought that's what those were all right that's fine all right there boom spear fighter Alright, this episode's going kind of long, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. As soon as we accept this reward, finish, collect. Alright, so next episode, you can see we will acquire Dunsh, Dunshunard. Uh, we will get one stone thrower. Alright, so tune in next episode to see where our civilization advance further into the Bronze Age and further into eternity and time and prosperity thanks for watching me geeks forge of empires episode one